This video is proudly sponsored by Squarespace. Working out doesn't have to be complicated. I mean, sometimes it is, but if you're a genuinely healthy person and you're just looking to burn some more calories maybe, lose some weight, perhaps increase your energy levels or prevent yourself from getting injured, maybe even increase athletic performance, then there are lots of easy things you can do that will have a profound effect. And one of the easiest and most profound of all is skipping. So just to be really clear, I'm not an expert skipper. Skipster. In fact, if you look at my rope, it's pretty useless. I can't do a lot of the tricks, but I've occasionally used skipping as a kind of cardio finisher at the end of my workouts. And as I've come to appreciate it more, this is something that I'm integrating more and more into my workouts. So I just wanted to share how I'm doing that and why I'm doing it. If you want to learn the cool moves, then there's a channel called Jump Rope Dudes. They teach this sort of thing. Really good, really interesting, makes skipping a lot more fun. So I highly recommend that you check that out. See, I've been working on these skills just recently. I've become interested in them and they're a lot more tricky than I thought they would be. I actually thought I'd mastered the side swipe where you swing it to either side and then I watched the video back and I realized that I actually stopped jumping every time I did it. What I've learned about skipping form myself is that you want to keep the elbows in as much as you can. You're rotating primarily at the wrists and you want to be just leaving the ground enough to cover the distance of the rope. The point is you don't need any fancy skills if you just want to reap the benefits of skipping. And of course, one of the most obvious benefits of skipping, one of the things that most people are going to be interested in is the fact that it's fantastic for burning calories. Some estimates suggest that skipping actually burns more calories than the equivalent amount of running or jogging likely. I'm not sure that I necessarily buy into that, but I can certainly believe the estimates that 10 minutes of skipping will burn somewhere in the region of 100 to 300 calories, obviously depending on things like your intensity and your weight and your height. Also with such calculations, it's also important to consider your basal metabolic rate, the BMR. In other words, how many calories would you have burned if you were just standing still? So it's not quite as impressive as it sounds. However, it's still pretty not bad. Point is, this is something you can do anywhere, unlike running, which requires you to be outside. You can do skipping on the spot. You can stand in front of your TV and skip. If you're worried about smashing things, you can actually skip without a rope. You can buy these special skipping ropes that have just a ball on the end that you can swing. You can also just swing your hands and just imagine you're doing it. And that's how I've been incorporating skipping into my routine. I've just been skipping every now and then throughout the day just as a way to burn a few extra calories. And of course, you get all the added benefits of this as well, such as increased blood flow, you're spiking your metabolism, you're getting more blood flowing around the body to the muscles, to the brain, waking you up and also supplying all of those tissues with the nutrients they need to grow and recover. And if it's burning calories you're interested in, and if you want to get even more benefits in this regard, then you can, of course, use a weighted rope, which really burns through the calories. You don't have to do much at all with this to really feel it working. It's going to tone the muscles as well, particularly in the shoulders and the arms. And of course, for the grip and for the wrist, this is fantastic training. I've talked a lot recently on this channel about how important it is to be more active throughout the day, to do more smaller workouts and to integrate them throughout your lifestyle so that you feel more awake, less lethargic, and so that you're burning more calories and building more muscle constantly. Skipping is the perfect tool to do this with. You guys know me by now, I'm not usually just interested in burning calories. What I really like about skipping is all the additional benefits you're getting at the same time, and some of these are really pretty interesting. So one of the most important and impressive things that skipping can do for you is to build your bone density. And this is really important, especially as you get older, if you want to avoid fractures and sprains. The reason for this is that skipping provides that small jolt, that small impact that encourages the bones to break themselves down and then rebuild themselves slightly stronger to reabsorb those minerals. It's not skipping specifically that does this, it's jumping. Jumping is one of the very best ways to build bone density. But of course, a lot of people are gonna struggle to jump if they have tricky knees or hips or ankles. So skipping can provide a nice gentle way to get into this. If you struggle to jump the small amount necessary for skipping, then I recommend starting with the 100 up minor. I made a video all about this. It has a lot of the same benefits. So I'll put a link to that in the description down below. But assuming you're able to jump, I think it's really important that you do. That's because jumping is, in my opinion, another one of these fundamental human movements. Of course, it translates to better athletic performance, you'll do better in sports and in general in life, whether it's jumping up the stairs or anything else. But at the same time, it also just prevents that kind of wear and tear, that deterioration that can happen as you get older. Now, of course, if you find even the small amount of jumping involved in skipping to be too impactful, if it creates pain in your knees or your shins or your ankles, then I recommend that instead you try the 100 up minor. I made a video on this in the past. I'll put a link to that in the description down below that offers many of the same benefits and it involves no jumping, no impact, but it could slowly build up the kind of stability you need to get to that point where you can skip gently. 
And the other big benefit of skipping is that it's also great for your brain because you're actually having to really focus on the rope as you skip. And of course this goes double if you're also trying to learn those cool skills. So there is a benefit to doing stuff like the crisscross and the side swipe. But even when you're just skipping normally, you have to pay attention to the rhythm as the rope slips underneath you. This is actually really good for improving your timing as some studies actually confirm. And as I've talked about in another old video, timing is actually very important for your all-round athletic performance. And at the same time, this makes skipping more enjoyable and more intrinsically rewarding. If you've ever wondered why we find things like computer games or even juggling to be really engaging and easy to stick at, while something like curling weights isn't, it's because the brain is more involved in the former examples. When you're learning, that requires focus and you get those dopamine hits. The brain loves learning. And so what we often think of as fun is actually just disguised learning. So if you are learning a new skill, such as a new skipping trick, that way you kind of disguise the fact that you're exercising. It's like playing a team sport. You don't actually feel like you're exercising. In fact, it's something you actively want to do, but you get all those benefits. So pick up a rope, try and learn some new skills, and you might just find that you automatically lose a bit more weight. And if this doesn't work, then there's always Beat Saber. The next great thing about skipping is that it builds lots of ankle stiffness. You're enabling yourself to return more energy to the ground, whether you're sprinting, whether you're jumping. Because when you look at the way we run, when you look at the biomechanics, we actually keep our feet in a somewhat static position. We don't want to dorsal flex too much. We want to contract the calf on impact and then return that energy to the ground. So again, this is just an easy and convenient way that you can improve your athleticism from the comfort of your own home and you can do it pretty much anywhere. And one trick if you want to improve this, and this is a variation I have been practicing, is to skip with just one foot. But again, you want to build up to this gradually. This also helps you to get better at absorbing impact whether you're running or whether you're landing from a jump. Because as we know, when you absorb impact, you use lots of muscles to try and dampen that force, such as the anterior tibialis on the front of the shin. Now you can train many of these muscles individually, or you can just practice absorbing a little bit of impact, starting with something very nice and gentle like skipping, and then build up to larger amounts as you're able to withstand them. Finally, this also teaches you to land on the balls of your feet and stay light on your feet. And this is one of the reasons that fighters like skipping so much as a form of cardio. It teaches them to land on the balls of their feet, keeps them nice and light and helps to move around quickly. So if you found this video useful and interesting guys, if you did then please consider leaving a like and sharing it around. That would help me out immensely. If you want another example of an exercise that's a really easy and efficient way to improve your general fitness and athletic performance, then check out my video on the 100 up or check out my video on why running once a week is actually enough to see some impressive results. If you like this kind of training that looks not only at your appearance and your numbers in the gym, but also your all round health, fitness and performance, then you might enjoy my ebook and training program, Super Functional Training 2.0, that comes with over two hours of instructional video, as well as an 80 plus page ebook. I'll put a link to that inscription down below as well. Either way, thank you so much for watching this one, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. But before you go, let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. So Squarespace is an online platform for developing modern, attractive and professional websites with no coding necessary. Creating the Bioneer website ultimately led to the Bioneer YouTube channel and it was honestly one of the very best decisions I ever made. So if you have any interest in turning your passion into a career, then I highly recommend considering it. And Squarespace is the easy way to go about doing that. Easy but feature rich. Squarespace really does have everything you could need. So that includes gated members only content for easy revenue generation, member management, email communication, audience insights. Then there's the integrated commenting system with threaded responses, replies and likes. There's powerful blogging tools for sharing content and categorizing posts. And social media integration to display posts from your social profiles directly on your website. And for those that really want to monetize, there's also powerful e-commerce capabilities. And these are made even more powerful with third-party extensions, which provide inventory management, marketing, streamlined bookkeeping, sales tax reconciliation, and filing, and logistics for shipping globally. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, Bioneer viewers can get 10% off the purchase of their first website or domain by going to squarespace.com forward slash Bioneer today.